Okay, Mr. Bio Larry. This is going to be a totally different video. Um, I seen a post earlier online on Facebook, and there was a lot of things like what ladies, particularly ladies, should do. And it's always this main, mainly this time of year when you're out and about in public, mainly at night, shopping, don't park next to vans. Uh, you know, when I, I'm a guy, but I don't go out shopping a lot at night anyway, but um, I don't know. I guess maybe my demeanor and the way I dress and whatnot no one ever really messes with me. I'm, I'm a nice guy over me. But I always wear rock shirts and camo and I... Tattoos, all this crap. I'm nice. Uh -uh. I'm a sheep in wolf's clothing, you know what I mean? Like, no one really screws with me in public. Online, it's different because it's easy to hide behind a keyboard. Not that I really do, I don't shit. Let me finish right now. What I'm doing today, I'm not showing guitars or nothing. I'm going to show you some simple things. I mean, male or female. Okay, first of all, when I do go to the store, I always park pretty far out. Let, you know, unless it's like a downpour. and you, well, Usually I'll still park farther out. I hate getting wet. I'd rather get snowed on or be freezing than rain. I hate getting wet. Must have been a cat in the former life. But anyways, I, I mainly just park further out because you get a parking space faster instead of those people that drive around and they, they just wait for someone to back out to get that first space. Well, I park far out near no cars um, and that way I don't get door dings or buggies bashed in me, and I don't have to worry about someone. And also, if you do park farther out, people are less likely to try in to break into your car because they're exposed. There's no cars to hide behind. So if someone was stupid enough, if, don't keep nothing expensive in your car that's visible anyways. The best they'd get out of my car is uh, some 80s metal CDs. I mean, I don't keep nothing valuable in there, you know. So I park far out. And also for me, it, it's like more like exercise. I walk. That, that's my more walking of the day. I I wear a Fitbit sometimes. Not, not a big brand name, but I wear one of those walk type things that tells your steps and for somebody on disability that you don't think gets a lot of exercise between the store and uh, home, I do a lot of steps. So I'm pretty impressed, you know. Okay, back to what we're really here talking about. It's, it's going to go along Christmas. Your Christmas shopping, you leave packages in your car, don't have them visible. Keep a blanket or towels. If you can, put them on the back seat floor with stuff over them that just looks like normal stuff that would be in your car that's not valuable. Okay, then, second, worry about getting mugged or whatnot. Okay, things you could carry on you and you're as an attacker, you really wouldn't expect it, and you really wouldn't want it to happen to you. There's really no number one, two, three. Obviously, pepper spray. You know, you get this. You can keep it on your keychain. I have it. I don't carry it. I got it at um, Ollie's for a couple bucks. Um, I just keep it in the house. Uh, I don't ever use it. It'll probably go bad for you. Number two. Torch lighter. 
Now, you can set this up to be really, I mean, you can keep this in your pocket, interject. Someone sneaks up and they want, you you just, you could just touch him with this freaking thing. He'll back off real damn quick. I tell you what, I'm not going to try it on myself, but you shoot this towards their face. No, th this will melt stuff. I've soldered, I solder with this. That's why I have it. I don't like cigarettes. I tried one time in my car and I damn near burnt my whole face off. Because in the daylight, so you can't see the flame. Here you can, though. And this flame can get bigger. And you can have a setting where it don't even go off. So, I mean, you could just go after someone with a torch. And it's lighter. It's not illegal to carry. Okay, number, let's see. That was pepper spray, lighter. Okay, this is a weird one. And I'm going to go a little overboard. Reason being is I have very numb arms and hands. And I did this once before as a gag on a, on a Facebook video. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, this. Along the lines of cigarette lighters. It's not illegal. You can keep it right in your pocket. Charge lasts forever. I have not used this thing in probably. Well, I don't even use it as a cigarette lighter. I just don't like the way. I, 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 either way, don't smoke cigarettes is bad. I still have to try to quit. Anyways, here's this. It is a TAC electric cigarette lighter. You pull the cap off. It charges USB like everything else does. Now, especially women, you go outside after shopping. You have this in your pocket. If someone comes up on you. They will not know what hit them. Trust me. Because it hurts me. Well, it did the one time. And I'm going to just do it as an example real quick. I will sacrifice myself and my pain for you. The TAC cigarette lighter. Now, I got this probably a year or year and a half, two years ago. Um, at maybe Gabriel's. But you can get these probably on Amazon really, really cheap. Okay. Charges USB has a cap. Now, you push up. You push. You can see the... Okay, let me get a good in. See the spark? This is basically a pocket-sized taser. It would drop you if you have someone in the right spot they're they're backing off they don't want none of this most people that they're cowards they, they they want they want to be intimidating and try to you know steal your christmas and whatnot and anybody that steals is just a complete d-bag i mean I understand, you know, certain situations, and I don't condone it, but people that are, you know, the, the still food from a store, not from an individual, especially nowadays in this economy, everybody is broke and stuff's so expensive. No one needs to be robbed. But okay, here's this thing, and I'm, oh God, I feel like I'm on jackass or something. I said I'd never do this again. But for you guys, I will. Now, to a normal person that doesn't have pain and numbness in these arms, and we've said it before, <sighs> fibromyalgia, spinal stenosis, carpal tunnel, not much of a solution. Maybe next year I might might try to get the carpal tunnel surgery. 
at least the hands will be less numb and in pain. And I won't be dropping stuff all the time. And when I cut myself, I'll know that I did not instead of seeing blood and going, oh, I cut myself. Okay, here's this. It's a mini tack lighter. It does work good for if, if you're in the car's wind and you want to light a cigarette. I mean, you can. You just... Boom. I just don't like them for lighting cigarettes because eventually these two things get uh, really dirty with like nicotine and tobacco crap and then it doesn't want to light good. But you can see. You see that? You see that arch? That ain't no joke. This is putting out volts like a stun gun, except for a stun gun is, you know, way bigger, bulkier. I can't believe they don't actually market something like this as a self-defense. You know, it's not lethal, but you could damn well drop somebody. Um, you hit him in the damn neck. Oh, oh. You know, you see videos on jackass or not jackass on um, well jackass did that they would stun each other with real stun guns um ridiculousness you'd see people and stun guns and they drop to the ground and cry and piss themselves or go poo okay <sighs> all right let me and i have more things to show after this I'm going to not make it that long, but it's for your self-defense, and I hope my friends on Facebook at least watch it, because I will put this on YouTube. It's friendly. No violence or nothing. It's, it's to help you against the bad guy. Not the bad, you know, the A.O. Who's the bad guy? Razor him. Not that bad guy. Rest in peace. A.O. did this before being a jackass and it did hurt and it left the mark and I swore not to do it again but this will give you an idea and the main idea is because my hands and arms are numb and it hurts so for somebody that doesn't hurt um, they want to rob you you pull this little little electric lightning in a lighter you pop with this don't think twice especially if you pop them pop them in the neck or any anywhere I don't know if it'll go through clothing let's see yeah yeah it does it'll go to clothes it's enough to get your damn attention. <sighs> All right. I'm taking my time for you. I'm going to sip on my Pepsi. Zero sugar Pepsi. I should be in four, so I'm always drinking this when I make these. I like the zero sugar compared to diet because it tastes just... It tastes like Pepsi, but not 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 so stupid sweet. It, it has just a good taste, and the sweetener's different than what they use compared to diet. Doesn't give you an upset stomach. Okay, I'm gonna go the left arm because that's the number one. But you will see. Okay, here we go. See the arch. See my arm, right on the harder ground. Ah! See that? Just that. One time, I'm not doing it again. Okay, and don't call me stupid because that wasn't to just like be on a tough guy. I can take pain. No, I can't take. I have pain all the time. Now tomorrow, this will leave a mark. There will be two dots. That felt like a, a snake bit me. And I've been bitten. I've been bit by pythons. 
And that don't feel good real. Cause they, well, they latch on. You got to. Okay, that's different. Now, that's 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 one of the best ones. You keep it charged though, but the charge lasts a long time. And don't use it to light your cigarettes, because then those arc. That thing gets dirty, and eventually they they won't work, or you'll have to file that. Okay, now number number. Uh, let's see. There's two weapons. Now, here, here's two other things, and I have two different kinds. Tack lights. It's good to keep in your car for, a, 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 like, a, you know, a roadside uh, breakdown. From, boom. Blind you. Now, different setting. Boom. Strobe. That's for help. You can signal for help. Off. Now, this is the better one. This is like an ass scene on TV. It has a, a telescoping. Now, that can be a lantern right here. Boom. Bright. Boom. Bright. Boom. Bright. Boom. Bright. Strobe. You don't like that, do you? Call for help. Lantern. This helps maybe if, like, if you have something under the hood. Can't find something, got to change a tire. Or if you're on the side of the road, broke down, you, you set that behind the car. People see your car with the blinker. Two tack lights. I can't I actually have I got a lot of them because um I got one as a gift. I bought one at a store and then online and then when all these oh Gabe's first opened. For some reason, there were these. They're not there anymore, but they're they're the original tack lights, but they're not black. They're they're more of a copper, and they were like two ninety nine a piece in the box. But it didn't really say what it was. It was just a white box, and I opened it up and I seen. Anyways. These are great. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. Or, you know, you can go to Walmart or anywhere in, in the As Seen on TV section. And also, I have a tack bat in my glove box. It's, it's a tack light, but it's the size of like a billy club, like the police would carry. It does all the same things, but it looks like a little baseball bat. Not like we use no mess with this guy. Yo, the bad guy. Okay. See, that was, um, okay, another thing. Probably mainly home. You think someone's breaking in? A baseball bat. Don't get a big one. Don't get a big, heavy one like the person we use in the game. This is way smaller. This is a, you know, a little league bat. Now, I, I bought it at Goodwill for like a buck ninety nine, but I bought it not for self defense. Um, I bought it because it's from the early eighties, and it's uh, autographed Ryan Sandberg, and it was a giveaway day by whoever that Heinz whatever. But keep this around, you know. This ain't gonna feel good, and I can still swing a damn bat, not like I used to. Now, Nerling. As far as I'm concerned, knives are still legal. This is a nice lock blade my friend bought me. You you could you could carry this or have it at home. I just mainly have it as a display piece, but you know what? Just think of shit. You could, you could shave with this thing. And you really want to get extreme at home. I wouldn't advise carrying this in the store. This is just a simple machete. Now, I actually bought it to cut weeds and stuff because the neighbor had over stuff overgrowing. And um, I just was whacking weeds with this thing. But, like a razor. And then, it, you know, you can cut it. Now, I wouldn't advise this unless, you know, you want to go... Uh, Friday the 13th on someone's ass, but 
someone sees you with this in their hand and they're trying to get in your house, they're going to think twice. Because they're, they're probably not wanting to really hurt you, kill you. They just want to get your stuff and get out. They don't want this thing hitting them, hitting them anywhere. Because there's going to be a big mess. And like I said, I, I didn't buy this for uh, self-defense. I originally bought it at Dunham's on sale. Actually, just to cut weeds. Like overgrown brush coming over the fence that no one else would cut. Okay, that's that for... Oh, and then again, if you really wanted to get Dennis the Menace on their ass... You could carry this in your pocket and shoot pennies at them. Oh, no. <laughs> that's going to really work. Last thing before I go, and this is for home. And trust me, it is a great invention for those of you that can't, like, afford. You live in an apartment, and you, you don't want you, those uh, security systems. With the codes and all that, and then the alarm goes off. And this I got at um, Ollie's, and I think it was very cheap, maybe like six dollars. And it doesn't look deceiving, and we would do, and it works. Trust me, I've tried. You you, you turn on. It, it just takes a couple batteries, and they last a long time if you don't use it. And you turn it on on it's a door stop so first of all you, you put it to your door to where where it opens in so say you're asleep at night and you put it at your door now when the door goes to open it won't open any farther than this this stuff grips so well and i tried and i i didn't want to break the door but i i i opened up the front and then unlocked the back went around popped this thing and that door wouldn't go any farther than i put it and so if they had a window to break in to unlock your door um they'd have to bust your door off so bad that you'd hear it and the main thing too is you hear somebody um you don't have a ring or anything like that you hear anything like coming in your door before you grab your some people carry guns whatever that's fine i'm not against guns and i'm not a gun nut either but obviously if you have a firearm at home or something you hear that you call 911 put that thing on speaker and then sit and wait don't go and open the door Probably 911 will be there before that person's in, and God forbid they get in, they're done. Now, this thing, what this thing will do, and this is neat, and I'm surprised uh, more people don't have this or see it marketed even. Now, it's on. You place it, it's like a door stop, and it does stop, but it's opposite. It's not keep a door that's already in the house from closing or open you put this at your door to where it, the second the door touches this thing the door will not move now the better thing this is a good one and I know it works because I did it from outside and boy Yeah, so they're going to hear that, and if they're smart, they're going to run. Because you hear that, you know, and you know you have time before that door, you know, goes any farther. And you have time, to, you wake up, you hit 911, put it on speaker, you grab your, whatever your weapon is, and you and you barricade yourself. And then let the cops come and do the do the work you know it's better for you because if you have to hurt somebody shoot somebody it's too much paperwork 
you know. Outside of your house is different. But you're in your house. You're sleeping. Here we go again. On off. That thing goes off. They're running. Because not only can you hear it, they can hear it. Your neighbors will hear it. This thing is loud. Um, you can hear it from way outside. Your neighbors in, in different apartments can hear it. I mean, you know, when your smoke alarm goes off when you're cooking, you know, your neighbors can hear that, you know. So this is louder than that. Try it again. Yeah. They might still have them at some, um, always, but uh, you could get them online. I don't, I don't have the box that it came in or the name. It's a doorstop alarm, though. It's genius. But um, I really don't have anything else to show you, but I tell you, the most lethal outside of the house one. Oh, here we go again. One more time. The tack lighter. You hit someone in the net damn throat with this thing. They're going to drop and probably crap their pants. See the arc? See, just that much. I'm like I'm sitting to fry my arm. That's enough, and, and my arms are already numb, and I'm in pain a lot, and that's a different kind of pain. Tack, lighter, electric, USB charges. That's it. Um, I'm just trying to warn, you know, people that don't carry firearms, and then, you know, some places, you, you can't take them in, and... You really don't want to shoot somebody anyway. You just want to stop the situation. Call the authorities. Just be safe, not get robbed. Best thing, nothing nice about parking farther away. Like I said, there's cameras everywhere. And um, if someone's going to mess with your car, or they're not going to follow you all the way out into the way out and where it's bright you park under a light or i always am in the daytime but any day night you park out there they want to get you in between cars where the camera can't see you most likely they're parked right next to you or near you and cameras can't get there you know what they they look like, or uh, a lot of shady people out this time of year, and you just gotta watch and always be on defense. Plus, you now you know some people still wearing masks. They might not be in wearing masks for COVID. They might just be wearing masks to not be recognized and on camera and to get away with. It. They'll rob you over five dollars. They don't care. And don't fall for scams where people be begging for money. Don't fall for it. Give to the red buckets. Round up if you want. See people hanging out stores asking for money. No. Don't give them none. All right, that's it. Trying to help people out. Stay safe. A couple weird, odd things you wouldn't really think of. Um... It. I'll pop this up to the tube and book and I hope this is of all my videos might be the most helpful because uh, it's, 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 it's going to keep you safe and then pass it on to someone else you know there's you, people are vulnerable you let your guard down in this area we don't have stuff like uh, you know big inner cities you know a lot of crime we you know hermitage is pretty safe but they're out there and they and they, and and people come this way because they know plaza whatnot mall, well we don't really have a mall but 
Plaza, you know, Walmart. They know you're there for shopping. They know you're coming out with Christmas presents. And then especially around Christmas. They know you got stuff under the tree. But they might be watching you. They might not rob you in the parking lot, but they see you taking stuff home, unloading your SUV. They see TVs and Xboxes and PS4s going in the house. They know what's in there. Last time. Yeah. If you don't already have some type of security system, there you go. Put one on each door. That'll, that'll probably make them run. And if they don't, you got time. 911, stand your ground. No, I'm not no big bust out an AK 47 or nothing. But second they're in that door, that's your property. All right, take care. I hope I help. Really, I hope I do. God bless. Have nice holidays. Bye-bye.